Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about finding the percentage, rate, or base in a given problem. To remember the formula in solving the problems involving percent, let's use the t hands triangle. This is the t hands triangle. P stands for the percentage. R stands for rate, P stands for the base. Percentage or a part of a whole is on top, meaning percentage is equal to rate times base. This is the formula if we're going to find the percentage. The next important element in our t hands triangle is the rate, or a number with percent symbol beside it. It is at the left because rate is equal to percentage divided by base. The last but not the least important element in our t hands triangle is the base, or the whole or total. It is at the right side because base is equal to percentage divided by rate. And always remember that change rate to decimal form. We know already the formulas how to find the percentage, the percent rate, and the base. And now, let's apply. Solve and analyze the given problem. I have collected 20 plantitas. This is 25% complete of my final goal. How many plantitas do I need to collect? In our problem, it is asking for the number of plantitas do I need to collect. If we're going to analyze the problem, it is said that I have collected 20 plantitas and this is 25% complete of my final goal. So, it means that 20 plantitas is not yet the total. What is 20 plantitas? Is this the percentage, the base, or the rate? You're right. 20 plantitas is the percentage. It is part of the whole. And how about 25%? Very good. 25% is the rate or the percent rate. And we're going to change percent to decimal form. How? Just move the decimal point from the right going to the left to decimal places and put the decimal point. So 25% is equal to 25 hundredths. Okay, in our problem, we are finding for the base or the total. So what is the formula how to find the base? All right, it is base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Always remember that you should change the percent rate to decimal form. So our percentage is 20 and the rate is 25 hundredths. So let's divide. 20 divided by 25 hundredths. Oh, our problem is how we're going to divide a whole number by a decimal number. Alright, we should change our decimal number into a whole number. It should be that the divisor is a whole number. So, we're going to change 25 hundredths into a whole number. How? Yes, we're going to move the decimal point to the rightmost of the number. So, in this example, 25 hundredths, we're going to move to decimal places. Okay, now, if we're going to move two decimal places in our divisor, then we're going to move two decimal places also in our dividend. Or if our dividend is a whole number, we simply add zeros. 
So here in our example, we're going to add two zeros because we move two decimal places. Okay, and our number is 2,000 divided by 25. So let's divide. 2 divided by 25 cannot be. We take two digits. 20 divided by 25 still cannot be because 20 is less than 25. We take three digits. 200 divided by 25. All right, the answer is equal to 8. 8 times 25 is equal to 200. Then let's subtract. 200 minus 200 is equal to 0. Then let's bring down 0. 0 divided by 25 is equal to 0. Then 0 times 25 is equal to 0. And we don't have a remainder. So, we have an answer now. Therefore, I need to collect 80 plantitas. This is the answer in our problem. Next problem. Angel had 500 pesos. She spent 80% of her money to buy a blouse. How much was the blouse? So let's analyze the problem. Angel had 500 pesos. And she spent 80% of her money to buy a blouse. So here... 500 pesos is a part of a whole or the whole amount. Alright, 500 pesos is the total amount or this is our base. And 80% as we knew that if a number having a percent symbol beside it is the percent rate. So 80% is our rate. And don't forget to change percent to decimal form. So, 80% is equal to 8 tenths. Okay, and so we're going to find the percentage of the number. So, what is the formula how to find the percentage of a number? P is equal to R times B or rate times base. Our rate is 8 tenths and our base is equal to 500 pesos. So, Let's multiply 500 pesos times 8 tenths. Okay, pwede nating balik tayo because of the commutative property of multiplication. The order of the factors does not change the product. So, pariho lang yan. 8 tenths times 500 or 500 times 8 tenths. So, let's multiply. 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Then, just copy two zeros. Then, pagkatapos ito, since we multiply 8 tenths, we're going to count the decimal numbers in our factor. So, we have only one decimal number. Then, we can cancel to one zero in our product. Then, our answer is 400 pesos. Therefore, the blouse cost 400 pesos. We have another problem involving percent. For every two girls in the class, there are three boys. What percent of the pupils in the class are boys? So, this is our problem. What is the percentage, the base, and the rate in this problem? So, we're going to find the percentage. Since we're going to find the boys, then three is our percentage. How about our base? What is our base? Our question is, what percent of the pupils in the class are boys? So, the base is referring to the pupils in the class. So, 2 plus 3, the answer is equal to 5. Then, we're going to find the rate. What is the formula how to find the percent rate? Alright, it is, rate is equal to percentage divided by base. So, percentage is equal to 3 and our base is equal to 5. Then, we're going to divide 3 divided by 5. So, 3 divided by 5 is equal to 0. 0 times 5 is equal to 0. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. 
then we can add decimal point and zero, then bring down zero. 30 divided by 5 is equal to 6, and we're going to affix our decimal point to our quotient. So, 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. So, we got our answer. 6 tenths. Don't forget to change decimal to percent because we're finding for the percent rate. Okay. 6 tenths, how to change this into percent? Just move the decimal point two places going to the right and affix the percent sign. So, 6 tenths is equal to 60%. Therefore, 60% of the pupils in the class are boys. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!